You're watching Greater Brockton, Mark Linda, your host, and I have the honor of having a new guest on Greater Brockton, Ali Brioso. Yes, Welcome. thank you. It's a pleasure. Same here. It's nice to see you again. I met you at a couple of events. We were trying to figure exactly. out where, where they were. But uh, I understand that you are getting involved in the Everyone Has a Voice at the Brockton Public Library. Yes, I am. And yes, I'm highly intrigued. It's a pleasure. And go ahead. So the 16th, 16th of February. February? Yes. Okay. So we're promoting all the February events on the show this month. That's nice. what we do. We do all nonprofits and organizations right. and stuff. But I got to tell you something. I love this card. This card <laughs> says on it, she has City of Brockton local residents. So you're proud yes, of Brockton. I am. As am I. I've been here all my life. Um, but I like the back. Passionate yes. humanitarian, community peace advocate, activist, organizer, outreach specialist, and consultant. Yes. And then it says, Allie Cares, call me. Or the phone number. That's right. So how did you get come to get involved in this project? Okay. I love the Brockton Public Library, number one. It's, a, it's an entity in a very resourceful place where people forget when, of course, I have a gadget, yeah. when you get caught up. So Philip um, uh, came in, uh, I visited him. Actually, we both happened to be during an exhibit that was promoting um, from Kenny McDonald, who's another uh, individual in the city of Brockton who promoted her art. And Philip, as a creative arts specialist and involved highly in the community, of course he showed up there. And then it was a pleasure in meeting him. And, and so our energies, um, especially having creativity and just have a natural flow, we just came across each other. Mm -hmm. So he's very openly um, to support individuals, organizations, et cetera, that he may come across and will present himself. And I myself uh, now have a workshop called uh, Community Awareness. Mm -hmm. And uh, Philip, uh, comes and attends the workshop and presents his poetry, and he had invited me to co-host with his. And I had a pleasure, and um, it was funny, it tickled my soul. It was um, January 20th, okay? I'm like, okay, I'll be a co-host. So I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna come and just say, hi, I'm Allie, and go with the flow. And he was like, Allie, you're a co-host. So I was like, okay, I am a co-host. So we took it on, and um, I love the creative arts, because when we think about the history um, of going way back, when we can't communicate with each other, music. You've referenced music. Uh, you know, during hard times, when we didn't have paper and pens, we're taking a few years back, trickle history, one would find ways to creatively put words together. Mm -hmm. So now, what intrigues me with um, what Philip does in the community, uh, he goes to the Boys and Girls Clubs, and he engages with the students, and I was able to get them to come together and put some poems together to express themselves. As far as um, now, with the events, we are promoting in February, we have uh, Teresa Sophia, it's the youth. So now we have, um, so uh, Teresa Sophia is representing as a, an Haitian American poet. Mm -hmm. uh, we, I'm very, very much um, for diversity. Brockton is diversified. Absolutely. We have, people from all over the world in the heart of Brockton. And it's very important that um, if we have a bit of division, which we do, because um, cultures and subgroups of cultures, now creative arts is a way to bring them together. Mm -hmm. um, in uh, my first experience as co-hosting with Philip, we've had um, a variety of diverse. We had poets coming from, from Taunton, we've had um, um, Brockton poets, as well as outskirts from different ethnic backgrounds, from, mm -hmm. from Irish, uh, you know, uh, American white, Haitian, African, Kay Verdi and Carly Pires is one of our youths. She expresses herself. And then she, as a youth in the city of Brockton, which, you know, we have very challenges for the youth, expresses herself in the um, very creative in um, with mental health challenges, talking about the community of behavioral health challenges mm -hmm. and how to overcome and succeed as a, as a youth in, in such a city. So for me, uh, in the city of Brockton, I am affiliated with various organizations that I support uh, and I found this way to be a creative way to bring people to unite. That's what my passion is. And I feel that in the city of Brockton, where I have a theme base for my next workshop in the community awareness, and in sharing that also by co-hosting poetry, is community healing. I feel we need to heal in the city of Brockton. We need to unite ourselves so that we can be aware and listen to the people as well as get the organizations to not just have a mission for your own organization, but have the bigger picture and unite. And That's together. what I'm embracing. And I found that 
creative arts, I love music. You wake up to music, you know, sometimes you can even have a road trip or you can just hum or something. If it's not food, music and creative arts get the hearts of the people. I only drive two minutes down the street because I live here. Right. So I don't get to listen to the music a lot in the car, but I always have it on someplace in the someplace in the background. Yes. I played music from fourth grade to eighth grade. Wow. And we have the wonderful Vincent McCrina here who's about to retire. Right. But I got scared. First of all, I didn't want to wake up and do the marching band, which was a requirement if you were going to be in the band then. <laughs> right. My son made it through all four years of wow. Vinny. Because, and Vinny really cared. He mm. told him, oh, you know what? It's not just enough to play one instrument. You're not going on the class trip unless you learn the French baritone horn. Right. So he learned the baritone horn. And he got to go to Bush Gardens. He right. was no, he was, they had too many trombones. They needed somebody else. So I heard a rumor, too. I don't know what my time frame is left. Yes. How much time do I have? Two minutes. Okay. okay. So I understand you also may be interested in television. Is that true? I guess I'm so because I'm here, right? Uh, well, I, heard from, <laughs> I heard from Philip that you might be. This is a place where we bring all expressions to together. We yes. bring all cultures together. We yes. have Cape Verdean shows. We have Haitian shows. We have Portuguese shows. Greek. At one point, we had a, right. Ju a, a Jewish show and then did a little Hebrew and Yiddish. And that's my biggest regret in life. I tell all of my students at Massasoit where I teach, I never learned another language. My father was born in Havana. Yes. My mother was born in here. Nobody talks Spanish. Dad had five, under five languages that he learned. Romance languages was his study. He became <laughs> right. a social worker, right. and, and he learned English, Hebrew, and Yiddish. So eight languages. At 90 years old, he could swip, swip, switch back and forth. Right, right. He always used to tell me he thought in Spanish. That was his native language, so that's what he thought it. But he it's came amazing. to this country yes. and he learned in Nashville, and he started with a southern accent. He didn't have a Brockton accent, but he had a southern well, accent. Well, it's very interesting. Next year for his birthday, instead of being sad, I'm going to Cuba. I'm going to find a way to go to Cuba if, if, if they don't shut it down. I want to see it before yes. it gets redone and becomes like a, the a natural culture. City. I want to see the, the natural, natural culture. culture. I want to eat. The, I love Cuban food. I like yes. food. <laughs> the Cuban I love sandwich. food. <laughs> two, two Cuban sandwich. Yes. I was in Miami it, for two yes. years. So um, I have a minute left. How about giving out your phone number if you want to? Sure. I don't know if you have a website or a Facebook or, or anything like that. Yes. Well, in Facebook, I'm Ali Brioso. Uh, and definitely my phone number is um, as a community advocate and as you express as a peace advocate. And anyone who's interested in coming to our poetry sessions, <laughs> creative arts, yeah. you can definitely give me a call at 508-857-7951. And, um, and basically, I, I, my hometown is Cambridge. Um, born and raised and grew up in the heart between MIT and Harvard, but I'm dedicated and committed as a resident in the city of Brockton, and I definitely support and I actually represent the people because I've become the people. And I have Muslim affiliations in families of Middle East who welcome me. I have the Haitian community, the Cape Verdean community. I myself am Hispanic as a Salvadorian Dominican mix, American born, and um, Poetry, creative art, there's no judgmental. There's no um, religious preference. I am a faith believer. There, it, what it is, is it's a human being. Express yourself. And I look forward. We have um, February 16th. We have an open mic. Open mic is very important. So if you do not n think you know you have a poem, I always say inside of you, there is a poem. Come and share it. Perfect. Out of time, we probably could talk for a whole hour. Yes, it's been a pleasure. Nice to meet you. We're going to talk some more. Yes, we'll, I'm we'll actually going to be back. here tomorrow. Oh, there you with go. With President um, Council Member Moses. Oh, there you go. At 645. <laughs> so don't, don't get up yet. Oh, I'm just going to wrap up the show. Um, you're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.